Teacher Institute um, was formed in 2012, and there's two, two partnerships that are, are the foundation of this, this institute. There's Teach with Africa, and there's the LEAP School. I think we're all familiar with the LEAP School. But Teach with Africa is an organization based in the United States. It was formed in, in 2007, the first year that I came to South Africa, although I didn't come via this, this partnership. Uh, it's based there, and their primary function is to coordinate teacher exchanges. So there's two sides to the teacher exchanges. And in the true spirit of exchanges, that it goes both ways. So the primary uh, exchange from South Africa to the United States is what we call an internship. Sometimes the wording can get a little bit mixed up, but the internship, opposed to the fellowship, is for South African educators here. And primarily in the past, the last five years, it's been just student teachers. And this year, in 2014, we, we experimented and had two non-student teachers join the trip. So we had a, an instructional leader from up north and a teacher as well from a Johannesburg school. The conversation started to be about how can we increase the scale. So just that kind of thinking, this sort of global, global mindset, and hence the name of Global Teachers Institute. So how can we take the programs we already have, the capacity we have, and start to leverage that on a much wider platform? And the title is very ambitious, but that's, that's, the, that's the idea and that's the scope of where we'd like to take our work. So then getting into the Institute, the aims... Okay, sorry. The, the aims are to transform not just teacher training in the United States, I mean in South Africa, but the United States as well. And anyone who starts to spend more time in, in the Global Institute, Institute space, you realize the problems here are, are not just South African problems, that they're actually the struggles here in education and teaching, while they're unique in certain aspects, some of them are shared in the, the American landscape as well, and the hunger on that side for some of the expertise that sits in this room is, is actually really encouraging and surprising. So when our team goes there, there's a spirit of reciprocity, um, and that they're there to give as well and not to receive. There's a big part of our work is not just training and receiving, but actually to shift the dynamics of the relationship in, in the global context, because the history of the West in Africa is very one-directional, very colonial and very oppressive. And that's, that's the reality of the history. So engaging in that history, it's not just how, how can we continue to replicate this dynamic, but how can we create an environment where the engagement is actually different. And so this is a, a really lofty, ambitious um, sort of aim that we have, and the young people kind of carry that work when they're over there. And uh, that's really the, the, the founding principles of it. The outcomes that we're, we're hoping to achieve through this constant engagement and back and forth is a model of teacher professional development and training that is holistic, that is student-centered, that is human-centered, and is dynamic and transformational. So if, what are those aspects in teacher training and, and development that are in itself either oppressive or archaic, and what do we need to transform? So it's not just about transforming the teacher and the person, it's about transforming the entire process of how we develop people. Parts of, of the the Institute, we focus on pre-service training, in-service training, and instructional development. Um, one of the biggest aspects that's already, I would say, most robust is the student-teacher training. So at LEAP we call it the Future Leader Program, and that's where we have former graduates and high school graduates return to LEAP. They are paid a stipend, their school fees are paid at UNISA, so they study distance learning, and then they're immediately embedded in the school environment with mentor teachers. So the idea is to get people back into the school as soon as possible and to have a voice in their training that's other than the UNISA distance learning uh, coursework. 